Okay, right now, Prince Carmen, I like you to interview uh, Melanie. Okay, go ahead. Uh, let's talk about your hometown. Where is your hometown? My hometown is in a small city in about west, um, uh, sorry, south of China. Okay, uh, let's move to the next question. What do you like about it? Mm, well, first of all, I like it because it's um, because it's my hometown. Um, mm -hmm. Second, I like the food there. <laughs> Like, um, and I like the music there and um, um, because my, that's, that's a city where, uh, where I was born and I have um, mem many memories there. Okay. What don't you like about it? What I don't like about it? Yeah. Um, maybe... I would wish it's a bigger city and it's more convenient. Um, also, it's a bit too hot in the summer. Yeah. Okay. How important is your hometown to you? It's very important because um, that's that's my hometown makes makes me who I am, and. Um, and and um, my I have fa friends, families there, and many many memories there. And um, for most important is I like the food there. Okay. Uh, do you think you will continue to live in your hometown? No, I'm away from my hometown. I think. I can, well, I, I go back to my hometown like every year, but I will live, I live in, I will live in Canada. Okay. 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 Cut a little bit. Um, this one I'm going to, I'm going to just going to explain to Cameron and to well, Melanie, um, but I'm not going to explain to other, to other people. I just want to uh, give you some pointers after this conversation. Uh, Melanie, when, when come, when um, Prince asks you, um, what do you like about it? The sentence, of course, I like it because it's my hometown. This is not a good answer. <laughs> it is not a good answer because it's an ob of course, it's obvious, right? It's a given. So think of something else. like, for example, think of historical, think of uh, antique places, museum, river, lakes, you know, the beautiful part of your hometown, uh, the friendliness of the people, the politeness of the young people towards the adults, um, mm -hmm. the delicious food, you know, like focus on the beauty of your hometown that will really make people think, oh, I want to visit that place. Okay. And another one, how important is your hometown to you? If you have family members still living in your hometown, it is a good idea to mention them. Well, my hometown is very important to me because I was born there and my parents are still there today. We have a beautiful house along the lake and I have around 200 relatives living in the area and we all love each other, you know, like full of drama. Remember when you're doing a test, um put a little bit of drama into your story so that's that's to shock the examiner <laughs> okay but so far melanie you did a wonder wonderful job okay melanie interview prince come on oh sorry i have one more question though okay. so, oh, one you, more? So, you um, so you mentioned make a little bit drama like i can yeah. just, just make up a story something like that um N not really make up a story, but add beauty to your story. Okay. Like, for example, beauty in terms of like your choice of vocabulary, your intensifier, like instead of saying very, you say exceedingly or extremely mm -hmm. or That's absolutely, right. you know, like things like this. Or um, if you have nothing, 
if you don't have adequate things to say about your hometown, like put a little bit of, um, like talk about the museum. Even the museum is not really beautiful. You can you can make it beautiful in the in the in the in the examiner's ears. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I mean when I said drama. I'm not asking you to lie. <laughs> okay, okay, Melanie, ask ask Prince the 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 following question. The questions below. Okay, Prince, let's move on to talk about accommodation. Tell me about the kind of accommodation you live in. Uh, yes, uh, the accommodation I currently live in is a two-story building. Uh, we have a, a basement and we have the first floor. I live in the first floor in one room. Okay. Does the place you live in have many amenities? Uh, yes, uh, the place I live in has, we have many uh, amenities. Uh, for example, we have like a heating system in uh, some uh, winter times, and we have a cooling system in summer times. And we have uh, uh, extra, uh, we, I have a TV to watch on the movies in the free time. Is there anything you would like to change about the place you live in? Uh, not actually. I want to change anything about it because everything is perfect. Uh, the basic necessity is already available in. Great. Do you plan to live there for a long time? Uh, of course, I want to... Uh, live a little bit for a long time because you know the place is wonderful and my neighbors are very great to me uh, they are they are helping each other we are helping each other in many times so i want to stay for a long time here okay thank well, you. okay thank you melanie melanie very good phrasing of sentences now prince cameron uh your first question and the last one, you did a marvelous job. Mm -hmm. But I think you did not understand the word amenities. Amenities are hospitals, library, uh, post office, shopping mall, drugstore. Okay. You call them amenities. Okay. Now, you, you spoke about facilities. Yeah, facilities, yeah. <laughs> okay. I forgot about this. <laughs> <laughs> Prince, Kamran, Prince Kamran, facilities are inside the inside. amenities. Yeah. Okay, for example, if you live in an apartment building, the facilities mm -hmm. are like the gym, the swimming pool, the library, the mm -hmm. lobby, um, the mail, mail room. Yeah, you call them facilities. But amenities okay. are buildings or offices Outside. in the community that are okay. available for residents, to, uh, uh, to, to for service, I mean uh, okay. to help them. Okay, okay. Thank but you. Thank you. Overall, I, overall, I like the way you use your voice. You have energy. You just need to polish your mm -hmm. the smoothness of your pronunciation. Especially, you need to improve your uh, linking. Uh, linking, linking, first. linking means like when you say live in, like it, about it, you know, don't, don't cut, you don't say about it, you know, about it, you know, like linking, you, you know what, like, although this class is IELTS, I, I, not, not I feel, but I, what I'm going to do is I will teach you something that is not IELTS to fix how you will communicate in IELTS. Like I'll be teaching you pronunciation and grammar as well. And also adjectives and adverbs that will improve the way you choose what word to use when you are communicating with somebody, not only in IELTS, but in life in general, if you want to reach that level of communication with other people. Okay. okay thank um, you. 
you're, you're welcome. Mesa, you have a question? No? Yes, I do have a question, but we passed it. It was about raised in and raised up. Uh huh. Uh, can we use raise up for income salary that when it's going up? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. No, yeah, because, yeah, but not when, like, not growing up, right? You can grow up, but you, not, you do not raise up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, Thank Melanie, you. Mel yeah, you're welcome. Uh, Melanie, you have a question? Yes. Um, so does amenity include hospital? Yeah, yes. Oh, okay. No, no, amenities, amenities are like in general, they are community services or agencies or buildings that serve other people. Okay. So like, for example, if you're looking for an apartment and you see apartment for rent, two bedrooms, $3,000 close to all amenities. It means they are close to schools, church, hospital, uh, drugstore, and all of those. Like restaurants also? Include yeah, restaurants, yes. Any, okay. any building or agency that serve people. Okay, okay got it. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Okay, next. Let's have Tufan. Tufan, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Tufan and and Ali, you are next. Okay, just a second. Okay, I'll speaking part one, practice two about hometown and weather and the weather. Okay, so let's do it this way. Tufan, you're gonna interview. My God, it didn't fit. Uh, you're gonna interview Ali. Okay, just a second. Let me bring it up because it went down. Uh, interview Ali. Ask Ali these questions, and Ali will ask you the questions below. Okay, I can go. Okay. To okay. Ali, what is your country famous for? my uh, country famous for food and uh, for the culture uh for the i think uh, because is the, the because is the oldest country in the world and uh, uh they are the country is famous for the culture and uh, for the food but maybe uh just people who know who knows about this country uh, has uh, uh, information about it but maybe for the rest of the people uh, when i talking about my country uh, they don't understand me or they don't uh, know where is uh, my uh, country is or where is my uh, country loca located it okay where do you live in your country uh I live in uh, the capital of uh, of the uh, uh, city, and uh, is uh, uh, we, uh, we call it Tehran. Tehran is the capital city of my back home. Is it an interesting place to live? Uh, there is uh, many places that uh, they are interested interesting in the, to live, uh, such as. Uh, uh, such as uh, the the capital city uh, uh, of uh, my back home and uh, the big or the uh, and the some city like like Isfahan or Shiraz, uh, you can live there there and they are the uh, they are interesting city to live. Okay, are you planning to live there in the future? Uh, uh unfortunately unfortunately i i uh i can't uh, because i just moved to another country i live in uh, canada for now and i uh, i left my country 10 years ago and uh, i have uh, no idea or no plan to 
go back there and uh, live there. Daddy, this is my, this is my new country. Okay. 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 Tufan, maybe because they are related to weather. Okay, maybe Ali, please ask Tufan all of the questions below. Yes. Uh, Tufan, uh, how is the weather to, uh, today? The weather today is very beautiful. Um, what's your favorite kind of weather? My favorite uh, kind of weather is cold weather. I love I love cold weather. Cold weather. Uh, is there any type of weather you really don't like? Yes, hot weather. I don't like hot weather. So you prefer cold weather than uh, hot weather, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the climate like uh, in your country? Uh, the climate is very mass in my country. There is a lot of CO2 in the air. Uh, okay. Uh, does the weather affect uh, people's uh, lives in your country? Yes, uh, every day. Um, uh, we have uh, the people dying uh, because of the uh, climate in my country. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do people change uh, in the summer? What's that mean? Do you, do people change in the summer? Uh, I think uh, the, the it's it's the, the attitude, the attitude, uh, their feelings, not not the not the look. The attitude. Yes. Uh, I think the feeling. Like what what they do, activities and things like that. Mm. Uh, in the summer, the people going to the coast and. To the cold cities. Hmm. Uh, the last question uh, is uh, about the weather. Does bad weather uh, ever affect transport in your country? Yes. Uh, on the north of my country, uh, in the winter, we have uh, problems to transport in my country. Okay. okay. Yeah. So Ali, Ali, and Tufan. Um, yeah, yeah. Please turn off your microphone now. Okay. Ali and Tufan. Um, Ali, I notice in you sometimes um, you repeat the question. Okay. Don't do this. Just go direct. So when uh, when um, when someone asks you how is the uh, the weather today, you don't have to say the weather today is. No. Go direct. Like it's uh, the sky is overcast, the temperature is perfect. I love it, and it's it's gonna rain in the afternoon. But so far, everything is wonderful. Okay, you don't have to repeat the question that has been. I mean, do not include the question to your answer. Okay, that is one thing that you've got to do. Like go directly to the to the answer. Like, are you happy today? Oh, am I happy today? Uh, no, just say. I am happy. I feel wonderful, you know. And does the weather affect people's lives in your country? <laughs> and then you just go direct to the to the question uh, to the answer uh, by saying, "Okay, does the weather affect people's lives in your country?" Like, yeah, in the summertime, a lot of people prefer to move to a colder city, uh, which is um, I don't know what I don't know what city is called in your country, and then. Um, and it's so good because it it is um, it is convenient because it's summertime. The children do not go to school, so we can uh, get to go together and go uh, camping or spend time uh, with families who live in colder uh, colder part of the city, of the country. <laughs> do people change in the summer? Now remember this: when you are doing a test and you are you don't understand the question exactly do people change in the summer um 
make it okay make it like this can uh okay well you can either i'm gonna research more on this if you have if you if you can tell them that you don't understand uh but my advice to you for now is and i'm gonna go back to this is if you don't understand the question just say what exactly do you mean just say what exactly do you mean because when you say what exactly do you mean it means i understood i just want to be sure that the way i understood it is the way you wanted me to answer okay or some people will play they understand the problem the problem like for example like like prince cameron right <laughs> with the word amenities he played that he understood it or he assumed he understood it but um i think in an actual test it is not always the information you give it is the quality of your communication okay so yes okay we're gonna go to the next uh, uh pair and we have um anna and fernando anna and fernando you are next okay, so we're gonna do the same thing um okay this is three okay anna you're gonna ask fernando all the questions and fernando we're gonna go to the next one and ask you those questions okay okay i'm speaking part one part uh, practice three job and profession okay anna go ahead uh, hi, Fernando. Um, I would like to ask you a question uh, about your job right now. What do you have? Uh, uh, do you have a job right now? Hi, Anna. Yes. Yes, I have a job. Uh, do you enjoy your job? Yes, I can. I, I can uh, enjoy it because uh, I have a uh, some uh, time for uh, you know the uh, family life is like a balance to them and yes i can do uh, what responsibilities do you have at your work uh, i had to sometimes i had to drive outside to the city now i'm living in Ottawa and um, had to visit some uh, surrounding cities and I have to supervise uh, another people. Great. Uh, and what would you change about your job? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. You, you missed something. You missed the sentence prop. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what is your typical day like at work? Uh, normally, I have to to have. Uh, I, I can say have uh, office works and the other middle day is uh, driving or go outside to visit uh, some buildings. Would you like to change anything about your job? Uh, I, I could say the driving time sometimes is too long. Sometimes I have to drive around five hours. Yeah, go on going back yeah I, I could say that it's too much time driving okay and what job do you think you will be doing in five years i would like to i would like to work in my fields i used to work like in a financial fields uh, i could say this is a little bit similar but now it's more the uh, administrations than uh, financials so if i could change i would like to to go there in my fields financials okay and the last my question what skills and qualification are required for this job i i think that you have to to take a good um, uh, customer service skills and you have to to manage people and uh, you have to learn to empower people to do the job for themselves uh, but sometimes you have to supervise them and 
to have to find a way to to speak with them uh, and respect their right, you know. But you have to talk with uh, you, have, you have to work with uh, many people uh, positions be uh, behind you or um, up to you. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yes. Before we continue, I just I just want to say something um, about Anna and 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 Fernando. Anna, I love your voice. You spoke like an examiner. You are really, <laughs> no, no, honestly. <laughs> no, you are relaxed, very clear, very careful with your pronunciation, and and then. And you made Fernando feel comfortable by the way you're using your voice. And then Fernando, you are good in English. The way you put together the sentences and your knowledge of what you're talking about is a testament of the truth in your communication. You are really, I think it's because you are really working, right? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, because, because if you have a job, it's easy to tell a story about your job, especially when it is real. But if you're just making it up, it's not easy, right? And Fernando, I like the way you answered Anna's questions and the way you spoke about the driving, the time uh, constraint and everything and um, and your responsibilities. You know, um, yeah. My my only suggestion to you uh, uh fernando is although okay when i research on ielts they say they said don't rush right uh and you did not rush but it is a good idea fernando if you could accelerate a little bit maybe um just five percent more i mean five percent faster or to, to ten percent faster not a hundred percent okay because okay. The, way, the way you handle the 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 answers beautiful okay but a little bit faster is a good idea but it's not necessary okay okay if you speak this way it depends on the examiner okay um yes and anna and F fernando if we are in in person you two are gonna be good partners <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're Thank welcome. you very much. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Okay, next, uh, Julie and Marco, you are. Oh no, 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 not yet. Uh, no, uh, not yet. I actually said, Fernando. Uh, now you're gonna ask Anna, right? Sure. Okay. Okay, Fernando, ask Anna. Okay, this is about volunteer work. Okay. Okay, Fernando. Go. Anna, have you ever worked before? Uh, yes, I was working uh, before in my country and in Canada. And um, I also work um, as a volunteer here in Canada. Interesting. What was uh, your first day at work like? Uh, I would say it was quite stressful. Um, because my language was not so clear and fluent like nowadays, but um, I tried my best to show my uh, proficiency and uh, my commitment to the um, job uh, activities which I have done. Right. Uh, what responsibilities do you have at work? Uh, now uh, I am teaching, so I my responsibilities is to teach students, to to instruct students how to play music, and also how to learn uh, my own language, which is Polish. Uh, moreover, I uh, I should prepare them for exam, for uh, performance, or just for everyday life if they, uh, for example, um, choose to move to Poland or use the Polish language in their everyday life. Uh, what was, what, what was uh, your typical day like at work? Uh, 
could you please tell me exactly what you mean was it means uh, previously in my country or uh, here in Canada but uh, at the beginning it can be both correct uh, so in my uh, in my country my typical work it was a few hours at music school we had public uh, music schools, uh, so it was uh, quite different than um, it is in Canada. Mm, then some days uh, I was also going to Philharmonic Hall to have rehearsals uh, beho uh, before concerts. Sometimes, uh, usually one time per month, I had concert on the stage with orchestra. Um, so in uh, it was usually a Friday when in the morning we had a rehearsal and um, at six o'clock we start our concert which uh, finish uh, depending of the piece of music which we were performing. Here Good. in Canada, I... Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, go ahead. Uh, ahead, here please. in Canada is quite different. Um, uh, usually I am working afternoons uh, or evening teaching uh, piano. Uh, and uh, some days, uh, for example, Saturdays, I used to go to the public schools to teach um, Polish language. Thank you. Have, have you taken any volunteer works? Okay, just a second, yes. uh, for, Fernando, just a second, because um, uh, Anna has already covered that, right? So yeah. Jump, yeah. jump here, jump here. Okay, jump sure. The last two questions. Okay, do you know any volunteers? Yes, I do, uh, because uh, when I came to Canada, um, I was advised to uh, pick up uh, a volunteer work. Uh, to build up my uh, career here and get a chance to uh, to get some references from people. Uh, so I did uh, meet other uh, Im immigrants who were also a volunteer at the work. It was Welcome Center at the uh, Houston Public School. Uh, so. Um, I I know a few people from there. Okay. Uh, how do you define volunteer work? Uh, I am a little confused about the volunteer uh, job because I was working... My first uh, volunteer job was at this place which I mentioned before and I was with them for three months uh, when I wanted to get my references. Uh, to move further, I had problem with getting that. So uh, this experience was on one hand good because I knew that uh, I can follow um, requirements at the work and I can do this very well because I was prized um, because of my job over there. Uh, however, on the other hand, um, I had problem with the references, so I was not very happy about that. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to share your experience with us. Okay, Anna and Thank Fernando, I, as, I, I, as usual, you both are excellent and you work well together. And Anna, what I like very, uh, very much about how you handle questions, um, Anna, is like when you answer you have a backup explanation which supports what you, you know uh, th this kind of answering um anna will help you in the actual ielts uh, question and answer um yes and i like it you see however like on the other hand you know like the way you support your answer is Beautiful, you know. I think your husband is helping you. <laughs> I mean, you have a lot of practice with your husband. <laughs> you know, you know what? What the most helps me, actually, being being honest, the way uh, the uh, need of instructing students. 
Mm-hmm. It was it, yeah, somehow yeah, somehow I got the, the language. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's very true because, like for example, in my case, like I'm a teacher, so I always feel the need to explain further and further and further, and I'm actually functioning yeah. like um, uh, like what you're doing, right? Okay, so excellent. Thank you so much, Fernando and Anna. Thank and you. We're gonna go to Julie and Marco. Julie and Marco. So, um, okay, let's do half, half. Okay, Julie, ask Marco these questions. Hello, Marco. Uh, can you tell me about your hometown? Well, my hometown is uh, situated in Italy and uh, in the center. Uh, region of Italy, not far from Rome, 300 kilometers on the Adriatic coast, so on, the, on the east coast. It's, um, I think it's a town, maybe a city, it counts uh, around 44,000 uh, inhabitants, and uh, it's an old town. Uh, it has a medieval center, and the old town is a medieval center, you know, and the walls were erected in the 13th century. And uh, it is just um, situated on a hill. So, and, well. Okay. Uh, how has your hometown changed over the years? Uh, well, the I think the, the population when just didn't didn't raise much it's just the same maybe there was some kind of uh, new people coming from other countries we are just uh, a, a guest town uh, it was uh, uh, it is a host town for 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 migration and um but uh, mm, there were not many changes in, over the years in respect to other cities so there's nothing special in in, in my town. Okay. Is there any way your hometown could be made better? Um, well, I don't know. Let me think. This is a question I never thought about. But uh, uh, yes, I think they could just build new um, new areas, so new residential areas for people, because we are just a little, um, how do you say, crowned. There are lots of people now in uh, searching for a home and they just uh, they're going living on the home on towns around and uh, so there are lots of um, commuting all right are there good transportation links links to your hometown uh yes i think they are quite sufficient mainly coaches and, and buses and uh, yeah we have a railway too now and it was uh, renovated recently. So, yeah. So, what about jobs? What kind of jobs do the people in your hometown do? Um, they are most employees uh, employed in services. Um, there, there is a university in my hometown, so there are all those kind of stuff around the university. So, services and well, teachers, professors, and uh, they are some of them. The most there is no industry and uh, no agriculture okay marco please ask melanie uh the rest of the questions oh so melanie uh do you have a lot of friends um yes i have a few friends and uh who is your best friend and why um, my best friend is, um, is from my university and she lives in Montreal right now. And, um, she's my best friend because we've been through a lot. And when, um, when, um, uh, when, when I was in university, she helped me a lot with, um, many things like, uh, when, whenever I have any problems, friend, uh, questions, she's always there. And uh, we've been, we have many things in common as well. And because we all like music, arts, 
and the opera. And we also like to go to uh, restaurants to eat. Yeah. Oh, well. And who would you most like to be friends with and why? Um, do you mean like who would I prefer to be friends yeah. with? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I prefer to be friends with uh, people are uh, kind and um, have have things in common with me and um, positive. Yeah. And uh, what kind of person can you make friends with easily? Mm, I find I find I made friends easily with people who are um, positive and friendly and um, mm, talk about hobbies, hobbies, hobbies. Oh, hobbies. Talk about if if uh, I find I find it's easier to make friends with people if uh, this person if if she or he likes music because I'm a big fan of music I like singing and I like playing the instruments and yeah if if the person have the same mm, habits then I would love to make friends with him or, he, or her. Mm -hmm. Good job, good job, Melanie. <laughs> and uh, which is more important to you, friends or family? Actually, I think it's hard to say. Like, <laughs> friends are definitely important. And family, of course, it's like they're always there for you. But uh, so, like, you know, some friends, they are like your family and and uh, like my my mother she's also like my friends we share many things we have many things in common and my best friend is she's like my sister and um i think it depends on like how you see how you see the situation <laughs> yeah thank you melanie okay marco and melanie very uh, okay i'm impressed by the way you handled all these questions Melanie, you surprised me. <laughs> and and Marco, your fluency in English. Okay, no, maybe I'm not gonna say fluency, but the way you throw vocabulary um, about your hometown, excellent. Like when you spoke about medieval, you spoke about uh, century. You know, you you talk about century. You're knowledgeable about your your hometown. Okay, and plus the vocabulary that support how you will describe your hometown. You get you did a great job, and your pronunciation is clear. And uh, Marco, did you live in England before? Um, I went there when I was a teenage uh, for summer schools. Uh, yeah, you know why? You know why I asked you because you have a, a little bit of British accent. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I hear that's what yeah. kind of imprinting when I was a teenage. That's the, that was the first time I learned English, so the sounds are difficult yes. to get away. Yes, and um, so you're, you're fluent, but I can still increase your fluency and your knowledge of grammar because I heard something, and so I'm just listening to everybody right now, so I can design a lesson that will really. Um, fix your problem. Okay, and Melanie, I love the way you answered, especially the last one, when you spoke about um, some friends can be family and some families can be friends. Like, you know, that's beautiful. You put it together very, very well. And, um, and when I said to you, support your answer by, uh, with, with your hobbies, you did very well there. Okay, and so great job, Marco and Melanie. Um, I am, I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> okay. you. You're, you're very welcome. 
Okay. Oh, I have, sorry, I have a question about the, like the third question, who, like, I, I, I'm not, I actually, I'm not sure how to answer this question. Who would you like, who, who would you most like to be friends and why? Yeah, I find it. <laughs> no, but, you, you know, no, but Melanie, you answered, you, you answered very, very well. You answered that. so. So now there, Melanie. When who would you most like to be friends and why? So you actually started with, um, by, by saying like you're looking for somebody, somebody positive, right? Positive, energetic, happy, yeah. friendly, and and then and then I, and you were thinking what else to say, and then I said to you, talk about hobbies, talk about hobbies. It means back up your answer by speaking about compatibility uh because of hobbies and you did a great job mm, so in okay. this situation melanie who would you most like to be friends with and why talk about personality and then hobbies okay yeah and that's it and, and you're able to um to support the question with a meaningful answer i hope okay. i make sense okay thank you okay you're very welcome <clears throat> Okay, next, let's have Mesa and Oksana. Mesa and Oksana, you are next. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mesa, go. So it's a practice six. I will start with the first few questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just five questions. Okay, so Oksana, hi Oksana, how are you today? Hi, Maisia. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Okay. I'm good. Thank you so much. I would like to ask you about your hometown. Where is your hometown? My hometown is uh, uh, in Ukraine. It's the capital of uh, my native country. Awesome. So how often do you visit your home country, your hometown? Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, during two years, I uh, didn't have opportunity to visit my hometown uh, because it's a very sensitive topic for me. As you know, the war in Ukraine is going and it's dangerous. So I hope maybe in uh, uh, next year I have opportunity to visit my hometown. Okay, hopefully you can go there as long as I am hoping to go there. So I would like to ask you about how many people live in your hometown? Like, the population. I guess in regards to population, I I mean yeah, yeah. in regards to population. Oh, um, um, as I know, a uh, statistic in my hometown, Kiev, uh, live more than four million people. It's one of the um, large. It's one of uh, uh, largest city in Ukraine. Okay. All right. Yes. So I would like to ask you about the other questions. <clears throat> what is your hometown famous for? Like, do you have a specific food? Do you have a specific area to visit? It's like, because I'm planning to come one day, hopefully when the war is over, I'd like to, to come and visit. So can you just tell me what it is? Like, what is your famous in your, in your hometown? Yes, my uh, hometown is very famous because it's the oldest uh, town in Ukraine and there are many historical buildings, uh, churches and attractions. Uh, and um, I recommend you to visit center um, of uh, uh, my hometown. It's the oldest uh, part uh, of a city where you can uh, find um, very um, significant uh, um, historical buildings and um, and also uh, I recommend to um, try uh, food in our local uh, cafeterias because it's amazing mm -hmm. it's just traditional food in uh, for Ukrainian people okay and one more thing, I believe you mentioned something about your oldest part of your hometown, which was my next question. I wanted to ask you about it. Oh, yeah. 
Um, the oldest part is in my hometown, as I mentioned previously, is uh, the center of city. Um, and um, uh, I know that uh, um, it's more than uh, um, 1,000 years ago, the city was created and uh, grown uh, separate from uh, other countries. Uh, so um, in this uh, oldest part, uh, you can find uh, various uh, interesting attractions and um, you can feel, uh, uh, you can feel this um, the atmosphere and yeah you can feel this atmosphere and just enjoy histo history of uh, my hometown okay perfect thank you so much for the, all the information that you provided me thank okay. you okay switch <laughs> okay so uh Maisa? yes uh, Maisa? yes yeah um who was your favorite teacher in high school uh, when I was in grade 12, I had a chemistry teacher. She taught chemistry so nicely, so well, that it changed my mind when it comes to this university subjects. It changed my mind. And now since then, I love chemistry and it goes my number one topic. And I realized that I am very well, doing very well in chemistry compared to, like, let's say, physics. I noticed that by her way of teaching, and she became my favorite teacher. I'm telling you something. Sometimes I use the password, her last name as a password for some of the important websites. Thank you, Masa. What is yeah. your favorite subject in high school? So, as I mentioned, one of them is chemistry. The second one is biology. The third one is math. But in my home country, we have different types of math. Algebra is the third subject that I like it in high school subjects. Great. Do you still remember what happened on your first date of high school? Uh, yes, the first date I when I well technically my first day it started when the school was over because I was moving from one location to another location. So almost about a week after the school year started, I joined them and I was so shy. And it was a Thursday, I believe. And I was so shy that the principal herself, she took my hand and she took, took me to the class and they told them, this is the new student. She's, I know she's coming a week later, but this is the new students that we got, are going to have it. and. Then I realized that the principal and me, we have somehow, uh, like, she used to live in my hometown city. That's, I realized that, <clears throat> excuse me, I realized that that's why she took my hand and she showed me my class. Oh, thank you, Masa. You have a great memory. Yeah, Do you thanks. still keep in touch with your friends from high school? Yes, luckily now that I am like, there are a lot of social medias like LinkedIn, Facebook, and these ones, slowly, slowly, I got the chance of just finding them and find out how they are doing, where they are uh, just living, if they got married or not, where they are living. Luckily, with the help of the, these social medias, yes, I was able. It's great. Do you miss your life in high school? Yes. Uh, my high can school was... why? I'm sorry, what was your question? Uh, can you explain why? Okay, life in high school, it was like completely because it was my ta hometown city. It was completely different. We were very close, very united, even though we are, we are coming from a different cultural background. But we were very close, we were very supportive, and it was like completely different from other parts of the world. I like it so much because we were very close with each other and every time close and supportive. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay. No problem. 
Yeah, thank you so much, Mesa and uh, and uh, Ox uh, Oksana, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oksana and Mesa. Okay, okay. Let me start with Oksana. Oksana, I, the way you asked Mesa the questions, you your voice is beautiful and very clear and confident. You sounded like like Anna, like like a uh, like an examiner, <laughs> and and so. Um, but uh, when I say but, <laughs> like when you answered Mesa's questions, you were a little bit struggling with vocabulary, but mm -hmm. overall you were able to convey uh, what you wanted to say. Okay, so we will increase that fluency and choice of vocabulary in this class. Now let's go to Mesa. Mesa. When uh, when uh, when Oksana asked you this like second set of questions, you were excellent. The way you played with the language is so um, was excellent. The only thing that yeah the only yeah like no the way you put together words and the way you put the information together, you were excellent i don't want to say flawless because if you say flawless then you don't what is your point of coming to my class okay so and but mesa i noticed that when you were interviewing oksana mm -hmm. in ielts mesa you do <laughs> not say when when you said to oksana uh what is your okay you said what is your hometown famous for and then okay. Sana was thinking, and then you feed her with some information. You do not do this in IELTS. You do not say, oh, what is your hometown famous for? And then Oksana was thinking, she's try maybe she's trying to organize her thoughts. And then you say, well, do you have famous food? <laughs> you are spoon feeding. Don't do this. You are not a teacher. <laughs> you are an examiner. Because I saw her, she was struggling. I said, okay, maybe a little yeah, feedback you, you is just gonna you just, help her. you just felt you wanted to help, right? No, but Mesa, don't do this. I mean you okay. will no, you, you will not do this, right? Because okay. you will you cannot be an examiner. My 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 uh uh this is just for your information. During the speaking test uh in IELTS, they will not do this like they will okay. not say to you well what i mean is like what time do you get up in the morning do you cook you're, you're feeding people information you see no it's not a good okay. idea okay. okay yeah i'll do that <laughs> and also mesa one more thing is just throw the question you can put a little bit of one word or two words but do not say hi oksana let me okay i'm gonna ask you so many questions about high school and hometown no they will not do this they will just directly throw the question to you and then it's up to you how you're it's up for the the examinee how he or she is going to handle it but okay. overall mesa i am impressed by the way you you handled all the questions and uh, you. You, you, you and oksana oksana where do you live what city uh i lived in give right, right now no, no, now I'm living in Etobicoke. Okay. And Mesa, where do you live? I'm your neighbor, Mississauga. Yeah, you, no, you know why I ask? Because when I was doing research um, on, uh, you know, on this class, you know, like, uh, because I need information, I need more information so I can deliver a better um, um, performance when I teach you IELTS. I found some, I mean, I, they, they mentioned something like find yourself a partner. You know, if you want your IELTS to be better, especially in speaking, find yourself a partner. And I'm just like looking at like Oksana and Mesa, you work so well together, just like Fernando and uh, 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 Fernando, who was your, your partner? Anna. Oh, Anna, right? uh anna and fernando you also work so well together right yeah, and, you know like outside of the class outside of the class mesa and oksana you know if you this is just my suggestion okay if you meet one sunday just maybe for one hour at team hortons or at starbucks you just sit down together and you can 
like review all of these questions or you can just like share your experiences and mm -hmm. and no no really I, i'm like this is not a joke i i i saw i actually uh before i saw this on uh, uh online this information i actually mm -hmm. advised my students in the past try to look for friends in the class because it's not easy to to find friends in canada people are so busy and so focused on job 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 family family and money 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 right and so in this case mesa and oksana try to meet that is my advice yes. to you <laughs> absolutely thank you andrew yeah. i will yeah, yeah. to meet uh, with everyone yeah try to meet yeah because you know like uh, oksana and um, mesa you have good personality you know i'm thank very you. you're i'm very confident that your your uh, meeting will work okay yeah. okay now hasna and and olena Hasna and Olena, you are you are next. Yes. Okay. Hello. Okay, Hasna, start interview Olena. Hello, Olena. Hello, Hasna. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh how is your day? Mm, pretty good. It started with a um, great, uh, uh, fruitful uh, breakfast and continued with our awesome lessons. Okay, Hasna, please start the questions. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, before the, I joined now, I faced the problem joining the meeting for one hour, then uh, now I've succeeded to join. So can you please just tell me what are the questions focusing on? Uh, is it in general or? Okay, no, 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 no. C can you see this? The, uh, do, you, do you see this line? Um, let me just try. Yeah. Yes, I can see it now. Yeah, no, no. So your job has nice yeah. just to read the questions. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. okay. So uh, Elena, uh, what do you do in your free time? Can you tell me about that? Hmm. Um, I uh, am unfortunately not that uh, free <laughs> uh, because of um, family chores and uh, because of uh, setting up my um, three three years old child uh, for daycare. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, so far. I hope that it it will change soon uh, because my, my son went to a daycare and uh, uh, when I uh, sacrifice uh, free time for myself, uh, I'm trying to um, have um, a good cup of coffee. I do it myself uh, and uh, I would like to learn um, painting uh good paintings uh, uh i already I would, I would, uh, have uh, everything for this uh, and uh, i'm planning to take uh, online course for this amazing Thank so uh, by this way you are answering the first two questions you told me about your free time and you also answered the other question which is you are really busy in your life, dealing with your kids and your family, and uh, also uh, meeting your uh, uh, interest, like uh, joining some courses or uh, something like that. So, you really, this is very good. Thank uh, you. Do, you, do you lead an active life? Um, uh, here, I got a question to Andrew uh, about leading an active life. Uh, what is inside this question do you lead an active life uh, am your, your, i in? Your, your, your hobbies do you go to the gym do you uh do you uh go to the park do you do you ride a bicycle active you know mm -hmm. uh do you go mm -hmm. dancing swimming you know hobbies kind of yeah. physical activity right yeah yeah physical uh -huh. okay thank you uh for explanation um um i would say that uh I'm leading an active life uh, because I'm doing yoga uh, um, uh, activities twice a week, uh, and I um, I 
push my family to ride bicycle <laughs> while the weather is good uh, because soon it will change um uh, and i walk a lot with, with my my kid i walked a lot <laughs> and and uh, i'm trying to uh do gymnastic with him as well uh, showing him and uh, going with him to gymna gymnastic uh, clubs very good okay so this is a really active life you are doing very well uh, okay just a, just a second hasna i need to, to i need to tell you something because you came late right yeah. uh, hasna we are practicing ielts yeah. Uh, this is not conversation. So after a person has answered, do not give feedback to the person because you're an examiner. You just move on with the with the with the questions. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Continue. Uh, you'll be next. <laughs> do you work right now, Elena? Um. Uh. Um, right now, I'm. Uh, not working because I'm on the maternity leave, but soon uh, it will change. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's like, go back to this, Hasna. Okay. Uh, what would you like to change about your life, Olena? Lifestyle. Thank you for this question. Um, I would really like uh, to change my lifestyle from mom <laughs> style to uh, woman style and uh, probably business woman style. And uh, mm, I'm now in the way to divide in myself uh, into these roles. This is what I am trying to change. Okay. Uh, do you get on well? with your co-workers? Okay. Uh, so just, just, I can, uh, uh, just like, just talk about your country because you already mentioned to Hasna that you are not working, right? Yeah, so yeah, just, sorry. like, like yeah. just go back to your time before you came to Canada. So, uh, yes. um, what okay, she will answer it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, what responsibility do you have? Uh, so, uh, sorry, again, uh, Mr. Andro, what do I need to? The opportunity no, 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 the not, not, okay just read the questions uh okay the second one from the uh the third one from the bottom and then um uh, who, who are you talking with anna uh, um, olena. Olena. Uh, olena so yeah, so olena because you said you're you are not working in canada so my advice is because we are you are practicing speaking right mm -hmm. talk about before you came to canada uh -huh, so okay. instead of so hasna instead of saying yeah. the second question you say did you get well instead of do you okay and then yeah. what responsibilities did you have yes so uh, she she needs to talk about her past work mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. correct yeah uh okay uh did you work uh before you come to canada uh, yes, sure. I used to uh, be a an, uh, system analyst in IT. Mm. Uh, did you get uh, on well with your co-workers in your previous work? Uh, I would say I succeeded in this area pretty much and I had to be successful in this uh, because uh, I my responsibilities <laughs> talking about the next question <laughs> uh, my responsibilities were uh, to uh, connect uh, um, IT guys with uh, client side uh, for them to understand what should be done and what what chunks of work should be done should should have to or oh, grammar i i'm not i'm i'm no, not yeah, I, I will teach grammar don't worry <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> what, uh, okay yeah yeah uh, where where there good work opportunities in your home country um oh yes uh, the opportunities were so good so um, so great good and awesome uh, uh, 
And because of this, uh, I miss in my country and the opportunities that uh, were before started. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Olena and Hasna. Uh, Hasna, understandable what you were doing in the beginning uh, because you you walk into the classroom late and so you didn't so, know the instructions yeah. in you know. yeah, but exactly. it. Can be, well, well, okay. So, but. Um, Olena and Hasna, great job the way you answer the questions. Yeah. And um, you're a little bit, Olena, you're a little bit uh, um, struggling, but you're going to be okay. Don't worry. Thank Remember, you. today is your first, uh, your second day in my class. And uh, during the first week, everybody, we, we just like did orientation, right? Mm -hmm. And so the actual lesson started today. And of course, I have to... Um, show you the easier part of arts first just to motivate you to inspire you so that you can be empowered in the future okay and mm -hmm. so everything that you're talking about today all everything that i see you need help i will create a lesson i am not bookish you know bookish bookish is a teacher that depends on the book i am not bookish i listen to the students i analyze your problem and i create lessons to fix it uh, that's what i do and so i'm gonna i'm gonna I, i'm gonna um have two more slides and then we will take a break okay and after the break um okay no i'll tell you later okay so let's have prince carmen and sarah you are next and then melanie and tufan you are next and then after that we will take a break Okay, Prince Carmen. Prince. Yes, yes, I'm here, Tara, Andrew. No, I thought you have become a king. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you don't want to talk to me anymore because <laughs> I'm just a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Prince Carmen and Sarah. Um, we will not. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, you know what? Let let me divide it. Okay. Okay, so Pri Prince asked Sarah the, the, the five questions on top. Okay. Uh, how many people are there in your immediate family? Yeah, uh, in my immediate family, I have my husband and uh, my three children. I have um, the three children. I have two daughters and uh, one son, and um, also my parents. Uh, I have one sister and two brothers. Okay. Who, who do you get on best within your family? Actually, all of them. <laughs> everyone is, uh, is special, and um, yeah, everyone is very unique. Uh, but uh, I feel like. Uh, yeah, more um, closer to my sister. <laughs> We're sharing many things uh, together, like even though there is a, a distance between me and her at the age, uh, but uh, I feel like she's my twin. Okay. Uh, do you have a large extended family? Actually, yeah, we are a very big family and we are having a very good relation, um, even with the, uh, yeah, like not the closer family but we are big and we have a good relation as well uh what did you do together with your family um oh, we are doing uh, lots of things um we are um, like uh, do gathering from time to time um we are helping and supporting each other we chat with each other we have a big family group uh, one for the extended family and one for the closer family and uh, both groups are very active and uh, we are also yeah supporting each other uh, actually in the uh, especially in the difficult situation like uh, what we are waiting through now in our country um, the war the displacement so we are a good supporter to each other and if someone needs help, we gather the money, we help each other. Okay. 
Uh, why is family important to you? Um, uh, as I just mentioned, like the family is um, the support. Family means the support, the the pure, true love. And uh, family is actually everything. When you are living in a healthy family, then your whole life will be a healthier, uh, happy life. Okay, stop a little bit. Sarah, your answers, excellent. Okay, I'm not even thinking about, I'm not thinking about IELTS. It's just like your answer is quality answer. Quality, educated, real, positive. You have this gift. Good for you. Okay, and so, and uh, and I think it's also because of the topic, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you're passionate, you're really passionate about your, your family. Yes. And 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 camera uh, Prince Cameron, great yes, job, great job with the answers. You went directly, and you know you're feeling your your rising and falling intonation, everything in place. Okay, and very clear okay. English. Okay, Sarah, you're gonna interview Prince. Okay, sure. Cameron. Okay, Prince. Um, do you do housework at home? Uh, actually, not, uh, but. Uh, sometimes <laughs> on the weekends, I like cooking. I like uh, it's my hobby. So I m make uh, my favorite food on the weekends for myself because, you know, it's a, I like my own taste. <laughs> so, yeah, I do this work, housework at home. <laughs> Great. Uh, what kind of housework do you often do? Uh, I already mentioned that I do just cooking as a hobby and yeah, just sometimes also laundry. I do laundry and and I like to iron my shirts, especially because I need to prepare already. I, I don't want to be in rush when I'm going somewhere. I need to uh, put, uh, wear any uh, dress or shirt. It should be already prepared. So, yeah. Okay. And uh, did you do housework when you uh, were a child? Uh, of course, as I, I raised in, in a mountains area where from, from our parents, from especially my father, he liked to us to do our own work, like especially some, sometimes laundry, sometimes cleaning your own dishes. So now as, as tell, Sometimes I do this, uh, like uh, when I was as a child. So yeah, I remember those thing when I was a child. Yeah, and uh, do you think that children should do housework? Uh, children should do their uh, own work. For example, like uh, packing their own clothes and making their own bed. So a sense of responsibility when they grow up, so they will feel oh, that we have responsibility to do all of these things. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that this work should be very beneficial for the children. Okay, thank you so much. Sarah and Prince, wonderful. Camera, uh, uh, Prince Cameron, I just wanna let you know that I worried about your answer in the beginning. Uh, Sarah, please turn off your microphone. Okay, sorry, it's my daughter. Okay, uh, Prince Cameron, I worried a little bit, just a little bit about your first answers to Sarah, but you completely saved yourself with the last question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now because um, I worried that you would say, oh, well, in my country, men don't work, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this is not a good answer. Okay, so my advice to you in this situation, uh, Prince Cameron, is yes, Oksana. Um, uh, my advice to you, Prince Cameron, in um, like in this situation, when when Sarah asks you, do you do you do housework at home? Mm -hmm. Now, if just if because I don't know you, right? If you don't do housework at home because of your culture, just try to say that you do housework yeah okay. you know because it helps 
people feel good about you. You know what I mean? And you know, when people feel good about you, it sometimes, you know, affects the decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in a job interview, right? Uh, when mm -hmm. people hear something beautiful, it affects their decision. You know, and some people will say, oh, it's not fair if it, if this kind of feeling is affect affects your, you know, they, they will say, no, it's not, but it's happening. You know what I mean? In any, in any, um, in any um, situation, like, you know, when you see people crying, suddenly you become more um, tolerant. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, okay, so what kind of housework do you often do? You, I like it very much when you said, uh, when you spoke about like your cooking, but when you said, I want my own taste, <laughs> <laughs> I want to know because, no, because you are married. You didn't think of your wife. <laughs> you just say, I want my own taste. <laughs> okay. And then, um, yes. And, okay. So now, uh, Prince Kamran, you did a great job there. And, and you. Sarah, you did a wonderful job with your answers. Okay, so let's do the last slide and we will take a break. Uh, Melanie and Tufan. Okay, uh, arts uh, speaking practice, uh, pra part one, part two, books and television. Okay, so Melanie asked Tufan these questions and um, and then Tufan will ask you the, the questions uh, at the bottom. Okay. So. Tufan? Um, do you like watching TV? Uh, yes, I like watching TV, especially movies and some sports like volleyball. Great. How often do you watch TV? Uh, I'm watching TV at nights. Like, do you watch it every day? Mm, not every day. Sometimes. Okay. What kind of TV programs do you like to watch? What type? What kind of TV programs? Mm. Uh, actually, I like TV series, TV shows to watch. What are the most popular TV shows in your country? Uh, the most popular TV shows is uh, Graduates and uh, uh, I don't remember. Uh, Because I don't watch um, my uh, country TV series, I don't remember. Okay, now just continue, uh, Mel Melanie. Okay, has the internet affected your viewing habits? Yes, uh, I'm watching uh, TV shows mostly on internet. Okay, okay switch. How often do you read? I read every day nowadays. Do you like reading books and why? Yes, I like reading books um, because I think even even though people like will um, uh, watch TV or uh, watch and videos on the over the on the phones i i still think reading books can give us a different kind of experience reading books can give us a, a different kind of experience and we can um learn something systematically in uh, by, by uh, from the book do you have any books at home many books at home uh, I have some books. I have some books, not many. 
Do you prefer to buy, buy books or borrow them? I prefer borrow them. I, 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 I often borrow books from the library. What are the benefits of reading? Um, we can learn many things from reading books. For example, if I want to learn something new, um, I will go to the library and borrow some and borrow the books from that uh, section. And also, if I um, if I just want to relax, I, I will borrow um, the books from the library for like for the novel section, like fiction fiction section, and um, uh, yeah, and also I can like for, uh, right now I'm also uh, I'm learning French, so I will read the, those introduction French books. Like French for books. Like, I, I will yeah I will also like uh, um, go to the children section to see how the children learn the language. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Tufan and 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 Melanie. And Melanie, you're so relaxed. You're so smooth when you speak. Okay, the only thing that you have to um, improve in this situation, based on what I hear from you, is uh, your choice of vocabulary. I'm not saying that your choice of vocabulary right now is not good. It's just you need to elevate your vocabulary because of IELTS, right? And I can help you with this. And then to fun, to fun, um, when... Uh, Okay, so Tufan, when you said, uh, uh, when Melanie asked you the most popular TV shows in your country, and if yes. you say, if you say you, uh, when you said you don't remember, this is not a good answer to give in arts. Okay, so um, in this situation, if you don't remember, just make up. You know, uh, make up. You can you cannot say you don't remember the television shows in your country, right? Uh, because it's your language. Right? So the more you will remember, more than the English uh, television shows. But if you, in fact, don't remember uh, the television shows in your country, just make up because the examiner doesn't know. <laughs> you know, just to demonstrate how fluent you are in in English. And but I like your answer when you say. When, when you when uh, Melanie asked you the last question, has the internet affected your viewing habits? You know, like you, you had a great job there. You did a great job. Okay.